Okay, so in this video, uh, we will understand how we can uh, export the test cases from Excel to Quality Center. Okay, so uh, in order to export the test cases from uh, Quality Center, uh, sorry, uh, export the test cases from Excel to Quality Center, we need to install the add-in called Microsoft Excel add-in for uh, LM, and uh, that add-in can be downloaded from uh, QC. Uh, for free of cost and you don't need to pay. Uh, to download the add-in, uh, you just launch the QC URL till QC bin and you can find um, you know uh, the link called tools here. You just click on that and it navigates to add-ins page and then you need to click on more HBLM add-ins and you can, it will go to uh, the detail add-ins page and you select the add-ins here and um, you need to uh, click on uh, add-ins for Microsoft applications and then you can see the Microsoft Excel here and when you click on that again it will go to uh, you know the another link where uh, the Excel add-in is placed and you can download it will ask you to download to local and it will show you different versions of add-in and you can select the latest one always and then you can now uh, load it okay. so it's getting loaded and uh, that's fine and i have already installed in my system and i can show how that can be done uh, you know how we can export it okay so uh, to export the test cases uh, from qc again uh, as I told, we need to install the add-in, right? Once after you install the add-in, you will be getting an icon like, um, you know, HP LM upload add-in. So the last one, whatever you see here. Uh, normally, you can't find this in uh, your Excel in case if you don't have the add-in. So you must have to install it. Okay, so if you install it, you will get this. And when you click on this menu and you, you will get a different options here and different uh, features um, to upload into the QC and first it will ask you to log into the QC and um, again it will ask you to select the domain and project and then so you have to uh, create a mapping which you will understand now and then you validate it and then you say like you know uh, upload uh, to LM if you click on upload to LM then all the test cases will be uploaded but we need to follow some template here we need to do some mapping here okay so which you will get slowly and i think the page has got some problem to show that the download link uh, but no need to worry later but i can show you if required okay so now uh, let's understand how we can uh, export it and uh, first okay so i'm just going to the menu and i'm just logging into the qc and um, let's see here uh, just clicked on uh, login and it is asking you to enter the QC then I'll say here HTTP and I say localhost because uh, the QC is in local system and I'm using the port called 8080 and then you say it's um, QC bin and then you give the username and password and uh, Username I'm giving as Satwa and uh, yeah password I'm giving my password here and then you click on authenticate. Okay, so now if the credentials are right and QC address is right here and then it will ask you to select the domain and project. Then I have only one domain and one project here. The domain is HRMS and um, project is RNHRM and the same project I have logged in here. Okay. So fine. Now you click on login. Okay, so then if you go here, then it's logged in already, and you can see this has been enabled and logout is enabled and remaining options are enabled. But um, uh, still, uh, the validate and upload ALM are uh, not enabled. It will be enabled. Okay, so just wait for some more time. Okay, fine. So if these features are enabled, that means that you already logged into the queue. Okay. Now, first thing that what you do is before you export and you need to write the test cases in QC. But before you go for that, and let's do one thing. First, you need to create a mapping. 
okay so when you are creating a mapping then first you click on the mapping button there let me repeat it again what i have done exactly and go to the menu and you just click on mapping here and it will display the field mapping window so here you need to map the qclm field with the excel column okay so now let's say here uh, you, you can actually export uh, not only the test cases you can export the requirements as well as you can export the defects okay along with the test cases so right now we are trying to export the test cases right so you select the entity entity type as uh, tests and then okay so you can see here there are various fields and it will be mandatory fields will be by default displayed here and what are the things that you need to export as you know uh, in the test cases now you need to export uh, you need to specify the subject uh, ideally the subject in the QC meant for the path of the test case uh, the folder path where exactly the test cases have to be uh, exported you need to give the folder path okay so the folder path in the test plan is usually referred as a subject in the QC okay and the name of the test case and a type now let's say here the subject you're going to give in column a nothing but the path you're going to give in column a of qc and uh, test name you're going to give in uh, b and then you say type you are going to type is nothing but is it a manual or is it an bpd test case or something like that and then you're going to give in c and then you are going to give name of the step here okay so step name you are going to give in d and then you say expected result expected result you are going to give in uh, e and then you say i'm um, sorry uh, expected result um, you give in now uh, f but it's not in the same order you can change the order also no problem and then you can say description of the step okay so that's what missed out and uh, you can say step description you give in e so i have created like you know the, the template uh, contains the six columns now uh, one is the subject which contains the path next the name of the test uh, and then the type of the test case and manual so ideally it's a manual because you're exporting manual and uh, name of the step every step and then expected result and then description of every step like it's a sequence okay i mean it's not mandatory that you have to give in the same sequence always and it's you can change the order anytime but the only thing is uh, like you have to map it clearly that's it okay so click on ok now you can see the columns have come here columns have been automatically created okay so uh, now you start writing that uh, your test cases whatever you want now let's say here the, the subject is nothing but the path of the test case where the test case has to be exported or uh, multiple test cases have to be exported the path should be like this you know you need to exclude the subject normally the subject is a root folder and you start from the you know uh, the one folder uh, below uh, the subject uh, it's like uh, you know the i have created the folder project folder name as orange hrm then you start the folder like orange hrm here the subject then you say orange hrm it's not case sensitive you can give in any case no problem even though it's not in uh, all upper case or anything then you say i'm going to upload the test cases in release 2 then you give release 2 here then you give okay so i have payroll process here but let's say here okay in case uh, if the, the folder whatever that you are trying to export into if the folder is not already there in the qc no need to worry you can give that folder name still okay so i am trying to export the you know uh, the user rules now so what normally uh, uh, you know it does is exactly in case if this path is already created in the qc the test case will be exported into this path but in case if the path is not there then it creates the path okay so now i have given the test case path here and give the name of the test case 
then the name of the test case I'm giving is update the user role or you can say change the user role from admin to normal user some just a small test case that I'm creating but forget about the test case names and it's just a kind of some name that I'm giving and I'm giving the type of test case type as a manual test case and then the step names ideally would be step one step two step three like this and in case okay if you have customizing names then okay you're always um, you know allowed to give then you say step one and the step description is nothing but okay say launch the application and then um, I'll say navigate to URL okay so you can do a word wrapping here and uh, just say here wrap text and expect the result is application should have been application should get launched and should be navigated to login page that's my expected result after performing that step and here also you wrap the text okay now you continue writing the steps but remember you don't need to write the test case name and path and the type for every step so you write the test case name only once for one test case and write the path only once for the test case and specify the type only once okay step name second one is okay so click on okay no so you need to enter the username right enter username as user then password as password and click on login button then say login should be successful you might be wondering why I am giving uh, some values in uh, uh, 3 greater than and 3 less than symbols that you will be understanding slowly then I'll say step 3 and click on admin link and then my expected result is application should be navigated to page so I just wrote only our uh, three steps for this test case that's okay uh, but I uh, no matter how many steps are there but uh, what we need to understand is how it gonna export then you write the second test case okay so the second test case is okay so delete the user rules for existing employee then the test case name is manual then you say step one is select the user from user list and uh, you say select the user from user list and then user has been selected and user profile page has been opened some just some steps that's it okay say some step two i'm writing and click on edit button profile page should open in editable mode then you write more steps if you want then step three okay so click on roles link then user current roles should be displayed something like that i'm just giving some steps three steps i have created now i just assume that you have created this the test cases in the queue uh, excel and then you select the test cases whatever the test cases that need to be exported but before you upload you click on validate 
now in case if the if anything that is something that you have so if anything went wrong here or if you have done something wrong in this test cases the validation will be failed okay now so validation is being successful that means that okay so the test cases whatever you have written are correct okay then you click on upload to ALM button and now you clicked on upload to ALM and then you see the message here the data has been successfully uploaded that means that these test cases have been uploaded into the QC now okay so what you have to do is you just go to the QC now and see whether these test cases I have selected two test cases here these two test cases have been uploaded into the quality center or not see what is the path it is under orange HRM you say release 2 and then you say user rules here okay so now I don't have under release 2 right so this is orange HRM as selected under this I have release 2 folder under release 2 I said user rules but if you look at that I don't have any folder called user rules right no need to worry you just refresh it and as soon as you refresh, re refresh it, you can see a folder called user rules, right? And the folder has been automatically created because the path was not there. If this folder is already there, then instead of creating a new folder, test cases will be uploading it to the same folder. Now we can see you have selected two test cases and now you can see two test cases have come here, right? So the, with the design steps, whatever you have written here this two and then you will be wondering why I have given these values in uh, three greater than and three less than symbols right if you give any value in three greater than and three less than symbols then those values will be considered as parameters now we can see it's created the parameters like URL password and user so which means that okay so this one this URL this password sorry this user and this password these three are considered as the parameters here so if you want to create any parameter while exporting you just give them in three greater than and three less than symbols okay so this is how normally you can export the test cases from excel to qc